morning. It is 6.55 in the morning. It's two days before the event that I'm doing. Um, I wanted to record this because it's been a while since I've done like a behind the scenes of event designing business. And I wanted to get you guys back on because since I'm fully in my business again, I wanted to continue the journey and show you guys what's been going on. So uh, the reason why I'm recording now before the event is because I am taking Pilates for the first time. I did the intro class and <laughs> it was extremely hard. Um, but what the reason why I'm including this as part of the video is because when I'm doing my balloon installs, what I notice is that my back tends to like give out or like I'm, I'm in so much pain because I don't have a lot of core so I'm changing that up and I am working on Pilates since Pilates is a lot about flexibility core working out working out muscles you probably never even thought to work out so I'm giving it a chance I have a three-month commitment I'm doing it twice a week I'm gonna try and do like more walking to really just enhance my experience when it comes to my balloon installs. I get stronger and I get fit and I bring my weight down. On personal level, I'm doing it for personal reasons as well, but since you guys follow me from business, figure why not let you know. So I will let you know how my first class goes. We're about to start in like five minutes. They're just letting out everyone else. So I will let you know how it goes. So I am done. I am back home. It was really good. I always say like I never understood what Pilates was, but if you like yoga and it has like different levels to it, then this Pilates is like a low impact workout. So it's kind of like yoga, but you're using machines and pulleys and engaging a lot of your core or working on your breath work. It is an investment, but I think it's an investment on my health. So first class done of the year i took the intro class it was a lot more intense <laughs> than the actual i'm on 1.0 so that's just the first level and then you're just working on flow i will tell you this you will feel muscles that you've never felt before like it literally engages so many of these small muscles that you really can't get with a regular workout but once upon a time ago i lost a lot of weight just from yoga and walking and it wasn't even weight it was water weight at first yoga tends to like de-stress me since running a business is super stressful especially when you're on your own and you don't have any source of income you can get into your own head so i know the power of like breath work and utilizing like yoga and you know just being centered with yourself and grounding yourself has made all the difference if you guys take your health seriously um running your business becomes effortlessly right you run endorphins you get oxygen to the brain you can continue to be creative and in flow um all, otherwise it will be very hard to run your business when you're stressed from your job if you have one if you have kids you know take time for yourself because you are the first priority versus everyone else and everything else okay i'm about to go get the other balloons because in my area in my community there's a balloon store that sells jamar balloons um it's the easiest thing to get and it's pretty good. I don't particularly like Jamar's 19 inch balloons because they have these lines on the balloons, but sometimes it looks pretty cool on the garland. So I'm about to run out. I have to dry my hair because it's pretty cold outside. As you saw, I was in my little furry coat and then I'm gonna go get those balloons. No. 
All right, so <clears throat> I have the balloons. And now I am done for today. I'll probably start blowing up balloons tomorrow. I guess for the rest of the day, this is kind of like a day in the life too. When it comes to a business, I was thinking about doing a day in the life because obviously I don't have events every single weekend just yet. Okay, I had to stop driving and vlogging because people are a bit crazy in Florida. If you've never driven in Orlando, I mean, it's not as crazy in New York, but they just drive wherever. What we're gonna do is we're going to record the process on this channel. I don't know where this business goes. I just have a goal of making six figures this year and I think I can pull it off. So I just registered my business. In December 2021, I told myself by the end of 2021, I would do so, and it was like two days before New Year's, and I registered it. I actually have to report it to the IRS. In the United States, you have to report it to the IRS after you register in the state. So this is just one step closer to where I want to be and who I want to become. And I want to build a team. I want to get like my own a studio or like showroom like I see this going really far because this is going to be showcasing what I'm capable of I didn't take it seriously for so long and when I the pandemic hit I just gave up so you're gonna be privileged <laughs> to come with me on these events I probably won't record every single event but for the most part if things are slow like what they are right now because Again, I have to put time and energy into picking it up with the strategies that I have used before and have given my designers to build momentum in their business. So I am currently going to be doing that and we shall see where this goes because I'm really excited. If I don't meet my goal, I'm not gonna beat myself up. It's gonna just go into next year. But my goal is to make six figures this year. I think I can do it and i'm ready and i am willing to put in effort i'm willing to bring on a team member or two to help me out i am actually teaching my designers how to hire because i was a hiring manager in my other job so i'm utilizing all these strategies and going through the mistakes first before you guys go through it so whenever you and i meet <laughs> hopefully in my program you'll be able to understand like the experience on this end of the channel and then if you are ready to implement the strategies obviously you can click some link down below and i'll have some more information for you but other than that i think i'm done for today today is the fourth january 4th or the fifth i don't know hey everyone so it is july 5th around like 7 10 p.m I am at my storage, as you can see, I'm going to get my stand and my ladder and anything else that I need for this event tomorrow. Some things you should be working towards when it comes to your business is that whatever you showcase even before they book is essential for who you book. So also, I wanted to show you that like with my car, it's a three seater. So I got this, hopefully this doesn't like, uh, yeah. So that way, like when I do my balloons now, um, all the seats fall forward except for the front. And that has made my life literally complete because remember I used to have a small car. So I'm about to show you like the before, this is the before and what I can fit in here. And then I'll, I will show you it when it's folded up in tomorrow morning. Another thing I want to show you guys, like this is my um, storage unit. It is completely messy, but one thing that if you have a storage unit, I want you to invest in a light like this because I got this for Home Depot and it was like, I don't know, like $10. Um, it's a magnet, so it goes right, like a six right on the the side and I just keep it there. It's rechargeable. I have yet to recharge it since I bought it, which was almost two years ago. So it lasts pretty long, but look how completely different. So whenever you're doing events and you need to like have a light source, that little light 
gives out so much light for this and i just keep it there and if it needs to ever recharge obviously i can take it but that thing 100,000 percent recommend i'll probably link something similar down below this video so that way you guys can purchase it as well if you have a storage or if you're thinking about getting a storage mine is a hot mess i'm gonna make a clean with me <laughs> video because i need to buy some shelves and i think mine is like an eight by ten so it's not that big but there's a lot of things like i've done that's the customized tough backdrop that i've done for a client these were her centerpieces this was the the hot air balloon uh bet teddy bear theme that i did for my sister's baby shower but there's a lot of things in here that don't serve my business anymore because remember i tried to do it all when i first started so i got things like plastic wear and napkins and so um one of my followers actually suggested that i put it like it on like poshmark or you know to sell it to you guys because you guys might be specializing in something like this for the events so she was like well i think you should put it like on poshmark or to sell resell and sell it to your followers and subscribers so this way they can you know get it for cheaper because like i have like right here chair decors i've never used it and i used to get these things all the time and not utilize it in my business and that's why i tell you guys don't buy stuff you don't need make sure you get things that you do need so like this was an investment and it came out really dope let me show you let me see if i can show you actually i'll just click a put a picture right here and it came out really nice so this stays here i covered it up with like a mattress cover from home depot fun fact you should you can utilize that for balloons as well but let me get the stuff into the car and then i'll take you guys behind the scenes at home when i fill up these balloons Okay, something I always bring with me in my every install, whether I need it or not, is this ladder. I don't know where I got it. I want to say like Home Depot or Walmart. Um, again, I'll try and link something similar. And then I also bring a table. I definitely got this at Walmart. It's really light. And I always bring it because like my back hurts when I do sometimes blow up the balloons on site and I just don't like working on the floor. And then I always bring my toolbox. If you haven't watched this video right here, um, check it out because I link the toolbox along with the things that I have put in there with a, a PDF. So I'll link that below as well because that was very useful. It has changed the game when it comes to my installs. Everything in there is something I've need, needed over time or someone at the event has needed. So it's come in handy. So these are like my go-tos and then I'm going to put a stand. That's pretty affordable as well. Um, I have an Amazon shop that I put all of my go-tos. So it will be there as well. If you can't afford like a, a real true pipe and drape, I'm going to get one soon because I can't do this anymore. So the stand is right here and it's pretty heavy duty, but you cannot adjust it. So it's an eight by 10 foot stand and it's durable. I'm using it again at this event, but I think I need to invest in a pipe and drape. So my next client is going to help me buy that because it's something that's used over and over and over again. So remember, always get something that your clients tend to ask for in your inventory and allow them to pay for it rather than you. All right, guys, I'm home and I'm blowing up the balloons for this event um if you want to see a tutorial of how i design my balloon clusters uh in order to build a base i want you guys to like this video and then if we get to like 30 to 50 likes on the video i will show a tutorial on how to you can utilize it i charge between four to six hundred dollars and i want to bring it up eventually so you can utilize this technique to start like charging that much money for your balloon garlands once i get into the premium base where i'm building more luxury where i want to charge like a thousand dollars per design minimum that's going to be a different technique along with different types of balloons so for now it's a good start like just to build on my skill and then eventually i'll be charging more so we are getting ready it's a pastel type balloon garland it's because it's for disney in orlando so disney world 
and it's gonna be really dope i'm actually gonna be going live on my balloon page i'll probably go live too on my inspiring designs um so that way you guys can get a feel of what it's going on if you good morning today is oh my god i don't even know the time 8 56 and can you see that it's my new logo so i got a new logo i'm so excited we got balloons here ready i'm also going to show you what i can't live without when it comes to my balloon business again i'll be linking a lot of the supplies down in the description so make sure you check it out but i wanted to show you my ensemble so i'm trying to look a little more professional on my balloon installs it's currently like almost nine o'clock so i have to get going because i wanted to be there pretty er a little early it's in disney disney's like i don't know i don't know how long it is because it just depends on where it is but okay so here we are we got the apple watch i did not plan my husband actually bought this uh color band so we're good to go got the bun because your girl be sweating <laughs> So the new logo, and then I have black pants. I'm gonna wear black shoes, but I'm gonna try and do this backwards. Do you see that logo? <sighs> Your girl's on fire. <laughs> um, I'm just stepping into who I want to become. Let's maybe get a closer look. Typical bathroom. So I bought this t-shirt a little larger and I tucked it in. So that way when I reach, I have full range. When I start building a team, I want them to look the same way. I probably will be getting black shirts and turquoise shirts with the logo like interchanging between those colors. But like, what do you guys think? All right, so it's really a little bit of the night, so I gotta go. I'm gonna drive out, I gotta pack my car. I'm gonna show you my car before I leave. And then I'll take you guys behind the scenes of an install. <laughs> Okay, I couldn't get myself packing because I'm really running all behind. But this is the toolbox I was talking about yesterday. The hand truck, I can't live without. I live in an apartment, so it's a pretty long walk. And sometimes to the venue, it's a long walk. So I got this hand truck from Home Depot. I love that it's versatile. If you can use it as a regular hand truck or it, it goes into like um, a wagon kind of thing <laughs> then i have my balloon bin that i take everywhere that has my balloon pump extra balloons and any supplies that i need to bring and this is pretty much it right now we are packed and i can't see out of my mirror but we drive slow and safe so we're gonna head out to disney but also take care of yourself on these installs because i drink a protein shake in the morning and then usually I bring a snack, but it, I won't be gone too long. Um, and then we have water because I be sweating and your girl be thirsty. So that is all. Let me get to the venue, start setting up, and then I will show you guys what I'm working on. ready i'm about to head inside there's not much footage because it's just me by myself for now i'm going to one thing i wanted to mention is that this is something that we call a legacy client in my coaching program a legacy client is a client who comes to your business multiple times for multiple events so this client is actually a business owner she's awesome she's actually based in california and comes out to disney because she has athletic wear that she sells at these uh, 5k runs or marathons or anything that's happened and she wanted to me to be her balloon install um, every time she comes into Orlando so it's pretty dope it's interesting the way she found me because she was looking for balloon artists and I was really the only one who responded and that's why it's so important to make sure like all inquiries get answered if there's a lot going on with my businesses and I need I just need more help so just wanted to give some insight i'm about to get out now it's almost 10 o'clock the event starts at 12 i'm gonna go live and i'll show you guys the finishing touches
this client sells athletic wear for Disney. And she comes all the way from California. That's her right there, all the way at the end. So cute. I love her clothes. I'm not going to stay too long because I'm exhausted. But I wanted to show you guys. I'll send pictures. I am done. I'm sweating. Oh my god. I'm so hot. I need help. The event went really well. Her first pop-up shop um, was last year. She had hired me. It was just her and her mom. And then this year, uh, for her second pop-up shop here in Orlando, she had help. And so I'm like, dang. You know, she's the CEO of a business, athletic wear, and it's all Disney themed. So it's like a real thing. And if you're like a Disney fan, like if this is your, and you like running, that she's probably the person you want to go see. I'll link her page and website. Um, she's based in California, but obviously she ships, I believe, worldwide, if not definitely in the United States. So feedback, I absolutely love the way the Blue Moon Garland came out. It came out so full and I was just so impressed by my own work. <laughs> I will say this, the biggest challenge that I have going on right now in my business is that I need a balloon assistant. So I know my friend and family, like my husband, and my um, my best friend was like my sister. She was in another install with me plenty of time. But like right now, it's in the middle of the week. It's a Thursday. The event was at 10. So it's harder to get help from people who work a nine to five. So I have to eventually start hiring a balloon assistant to come with me on these installs. It will make us more efficient with our timing, um, especially if we only have like an hour to hour window. I'm very strategic on making sure that I have enough time. At least a two hour window is like minimum because I can't do an install, a pretty big one in an hour without like complete help, like a whole team. And that will be the case in the future. Ooh, let me, I need to think to lower this. Hopefully the audio is not bad. Um, if not, I have to redo it. Let me check. Okay, it wasn't it wasn't that bad. So, audio. Let me turn off my vent so that way you don't hear anything. Let's turn it down. I love this client. And then she told me she's doing another pop-up shop here next month. So, she's like, I'll give you all the details. And I'm like, yay. So, I'm going to end, obviously, my day here. But the video is going to continue because I am getting a brand new vlogging camera. So, this is being recorded on my iPhone. Listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. So if you ever wanted to start a YouTube channel, use what you got because let me tell you, honey, you don't need to spend that money if you're not consistent. And I'm working on that. Another update, I haven't been consistent on YouTube is because I've been doing a lot with my programs. We have Design Your Dream Society membership that we're locking in the curriculum now. Probably like a CEO up until this point, which is January 6th, I have to finalize the last module, which is hiring your first team member. And then update certain things like a lot of my designers need to help with like how to automate a contract or how to optimize your instagram and um what happens when what you do when it's a slow season so every time like we jump on our calls i get feedback and if it's pretty much the same things going on i try to update the program so that way it's at its optimal best and their answers are there so i don't have to answer them all all over again all right so the next clip, I'm going to show you guys my camera. I'm going to unbox it. Um, I got inspired by another YouTuber I follow, and she has a vlogging camera, and I wanted the same one. So <laughs> I got it. My husband helped me, and I'll be paying it towards it, but it's so worth it. Because we're going to go into the behind the scenes. I'm going to give you guys, like, I am claiming this, um, building a six-figure balloon business i want to do it this year i'm willing to put in the work for this year and even if i come up short am i mad no <laughs> so i want to take you guys really along the lines of like hiring and bringing on a new team member possibly getting a showroom like these are the things that are i have in my head that i want for my balloon business and obviously my coaching business so and i want you guys to come along and i want to have these videos so that way the future me can see how long it took me to get here 
<laughs> I love doing these videos and I used to love doing them because I never found anybody else doing them like this. So I'm gonna get a little more creative with my videos, showing you guys more behind the scenes versus tutorials, but there will be some tutorials in here as well. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed. And for now, I'll just end this video right here, but stay tuned for the next clip to see my new camera. Good morning. Well, I don't know if you're watching this when it's morning, but I just wanted, to, today is Saturday, I was about to say June, Ju January 8th, and we are getting ready to go to Best Buy to get that vlogging camera. Um, I'm definitely going to show you guys the difference between the phone and the camera. I wanted to end this video because when I go on more events or more behind the scenes, I want to take you guys with me and I want to give a really nice experience. So we're about to head out to Best Buy. I am dressed, ready to go. It's a little chilly, 70. Not really chilly in Florida. Got my protein shape, about to finish it, and then we'll head out. All right, so we are here at Best Buy, and I got it. So here it is. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna unbox this. This is the Sony ZV-1. It's really good with vlogging i'm also gonna get a selfie stick and some memory cards and a microphone so that way our videos are gonna be popping so let me show you what's inside so as you can see all right i cannot open this but it's really awesome it it is um actually white although i was a little shocked i was like wait a minute so my husband opened the wrong one but it is a white camera I don't know any of the specs or anything like that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna open it and then show you guys. So pretty. So this is my Ooh, look at that. It is so cute. It's so lightweight, so and then the So when I'm taking selfies and videos, we're gonna be popping. <laughs> I'm so happy for this. Um, and then the microphone goes like right here. I love a white, I love, I used to love like white phones in general. So anything white to me is like perfection. So I'm excited. I don't know how to utilize this camera. So I'm gonna be watching a lot of like YouTube videos to optimize it, but this is gonna be my go-to for videos now especially on the go when I'm in the car talking to you guys. So this is still on my iPhone. Maybe I'll show you guys a clip of utilizing it once I get the memory card and microphone. Um, I, I heard great reviews and that has a really good microphone. Um, some of my designers do have YouTube channels and I will say this for those of you who are thinking about starting YouTube or to showcase your designs, just understand this, do not invest until you're consistent because even i'm still invested and i'm not even that consistent so make sure you do so it's really exciting because now i can really concentrate on content and to show you guys more behind the scenes give you guys the inside out show you my journey um towards a six-figure business owner as a six-figure business owner so i'm excited <laughs> there i am hey so this is what it looks like i actually forgot I'm actually editing right now, so if you guys can see on my computer, getting all the clips together. Um, I didn't realize that I never showed you what it looks like. So this is my new camera. Here's a clip. I just wanted to show you this viewpoint. What do you guys think? Feel free to let me know. Um, to close out this video, I just want to say thank you for tagging along with me on this journey. Um, it is real right now, January 25th, so I completely haven't edited that video till now but i took a break for my birthday which is on january 21st and we went away to georgia it was such a great time so i didn't do anything when it came to editing i was doing a lot of behind the scenes but i hope you all liked this video if you did feel free to give it a big thumbs up let me know what's your favorite part what kind of videos you want to see more in the near future i will definitely take you along the ride if this is something you guys like watching um, and then if you need help getting clients, I actually have a secret guide that you guys can download for free. 
and it's all the steps that I've utilized to get clients in the door in my business along with the designers that I coach as well so feel free to click down the link that is it I hope you all continue designing your dreams into reality I had fun doing another event I will bring you along more but with a better camera <laughs> I will catch you guys in the next video Did we think we were gonna be cute with no edges? No, we should stop putting the edges on when we do installs. Leave them for beautiful nights where we're not sweating. <laughs> <laughs>